Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Chris Gardner here. Today I wanted to show you something that's useful, you know, likely more for real estate agents themselves than uh, photographers uh, or, you know, other digital media creators, anything like that, service providers. But, uh, you know, you might encounter properties which are difficult to create or calculate the uh, accurate square footage and I know that that can be an issue or a challenge sometimes and I just want to give you you know a brief rundown of how you can actually start to get pretty reliable measurements for yourself and it's using this program called Sweet Home 3D which is in fact free for uh, Windows, Mac and Linux computers so it's a great option for pretty well everyone now it is a 3d software program but most of what we need to do is actually in this window so i just shrink everything else so that we can focus on what we really need to do and one thing so these are some of the tools we can use the main tools we use anyways i get this arrow one zoom out really far on windows right now i'm holding uh control and scrolling on the wheel so i get out you see i'm at 168 feet you can switch this to work in meters or feet whichever you prefer now i just drag out a line that's much bigger than the property i will be working on so you can see this is you know 220 by 100 so that's an entire lot and that's a pretty big lot um now we're gonna go to this one because create rooms, when we do this, it gives us a, a square footage measurement that is you know, very accurate and it can be very complex too, which is why it's really great. So let's say we are working with a square house that you have only two dimensions for, which would make it a square or a rectangle. So let's say you got uh, you know, 45 by 20 foot two. And these will snap into place when they're actually at a right, right angle. And then there we go. It's saying that that uh, a place of that size would be 901 square feet. So that's pretty handy, you know, on those. But let's say that we have something with, you know, this is a master wing happening here, and then we come out to a little vestibule, maybe bathroom with a big bay window. Imagine that, and then you know, a breezeway over to the living area. And you know, it actually then extends further this way towards the water or something. So that's, you know, that's a little bit more than your average uh, floor plan, right? Uh, but as you can see, like, Updates dynamically as you go, so this would keep counting as I was going. If you're watching it, um, you know, it's got a little wonky because I didn't, you know, I just made it up as I went. But if you were taking um, all your measurements and sketching them as you go, and making note, you know, was this the right angle? You know, these are, should be easy for you to identify. This would be harder to do. You'd have to you know, one, two, three angles to make a 180 degree turn. So they should each be, uh, you know, 180 divided by three is 60, 60 degrees, right? So there's thrown back to some old uh, high school or elementary school math. But, um, you know, these are some things that you will have to pay attention to. So, I mean, it, it's just a good tool to tackle complex problems or more complex problems than uh, you know you could solve probably without software specifically built like this one to solve this kind of problem um, and you know there's there's a lot more that we can do in this software which we can get into but I thought this would be a, a nice little teaser well one thing uh, I thought I should mention about this is you know let's say you get your your footprint to the main level what happens when your upstairs level is not exactly the same. So sometimes you can identify certain things like maybe if it was an addition and you know that this was the old portion of the house. You can get these to snap on uh, and they form the same. So now you can have, you know, let's say 2672 is the main floor including the addition and then you have a 1200 foot second story. Or 
what if you have an area that's open to above so you know areas with no floor maybe this is in fact uh, a great room and it's double ceiling or you know double height ceilings you could measure the area where there is no floor above so let's say that there is a, a wall here and there is a wall here uh, let's stick to those uh, yeah, this isn't an accurate floor plan of what might actually get built but now you can you can start to use this to take away and subtract spaces that you know you would want to remove from the, the square footage that you do publish which I know is, is one thing people always realtors ask me when I'm going to a place is can you make sure to take the you know area that's that's open to above out of the square footage because they think that someone has you know screwed it up in, in one of the previous listings or whatever so uh, it's, it's something that I am used to doing. It's something that you should pay attention to, especially if you are measuring square footages for real estate. Uh, it's, it's you know not that hard to account for. So if you want to see more about uh, you know all the things that, that I'm going to start talking about to do with real estate marketing and getting new clients and uh, you know marketing just your own business, your own photography, videography, uh, design overall then drop a like a subscribe and yeah again thanks for watching see you next one